It's me and Faraby, the wise men. The wise men saw the star and they went looking for the savior. Something about that star was different. Yes, they may have been astrologers or maybe God sent a special star along that they could follow to find Jesus. It certainly would have been appropriate for such a time as this, since God's son had come to save the world. The star definitely had their attention. Can't you almost hear them saying, look at that star, can you believe it? Enter King Herod. He was troubled by the news. He secretly called together the wise men to find out what time the star had appeared. He sent them to travel to Bethlehem to search for the young child that had been born so that he could come worship him. But his real plan was to have Jesus killed. Using the star to navigate their way to Jesus was easy for the wise men because the star came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. They went in the house, saw Jesus, and fell down and worshiped. Yes, they fell down and worshiped. The sheer overwhelming presence of the light of the world had overtaken them, and they fell on their faces before the Savior. Then they opened their treasures, the best they had to offer, gold, frankincense, myrrh. They presented them to Jesus. Ah, the visit was complete. It was time to go home. But somehow, life seemed different now. They had been with Jesus. They would not be going back the same direction they had come, but would now go a different way. The direction God was leading them. This story has been brought to you from Matthew 2, verses 1 through 12. Beautiful then and beautiful now. Be led by a star. Look for the Savior. Rejoice with great joy. See Jesus. Fall down and worship. Open your treasures. Present them to Jesus. Go the direction God leads you. No wonder we call them wise men.